Welcome back to the morning show here on the Rise News. Joining us now to continue the conversation on the battle for presiding offices of the 9th National Assembly is ABC House of Representatives member Honorable Mohammed Tahir Mongunu, uh, representing Jere Federal Constituency, rather, Borono State. Welcome to the show, uh, Honorable Member. I don't know if you listened to Senator Enaya Baribe some seconds ago. But he said that your party stuck to the old ways of doing things and needs to look to the future, you know, when it comes to matters such as the National Assembly leadership. Why is your party still insisting on selecting or anointing candidates for presiding offices when the law is clear on how that should work? Thank you very much for inviting me to discuss this very topical issue that is in the public domain now. It is the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which is the grand norm of the land, as rightly observed by you, is very clear and unambiguous as to the way and manner our principal officers or the presiding officers should emerge, and which is uh, every member of the National Assembly, irrespective of party appellation, has the right <coughs> to be any of the presiding officers. But the party, my party, the APC, decided to intervene, not necessarily interfere or intervene strict or so and so, but to guide the process in the way and manner the leadership of the National Assembly emerged. And this is purely as a result of the fact that Nigeria is a heterogeneous uh, society that is uh, multi-religious, uh, 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 with a lot of ethnicities, uh, regions, and what have you. So there is a need in the emergence of the presiding officers of the National Assembly to balance this peculiarity of the Nigerian nation state being heterogeneous uh, in nature. And the fact that the APC is a fun Nigerian party that cut across all the nooks and crannies of this country. There is a need for the party to guide the, the membership of the National Assembly as to the way and manner the leadership will emerge so that at the end of the day, the leadership of the party, of, of the National Assembly, is a replica of the heterogeneous nature of the Nigerian society. And the party guides the process by way of zoning the respective offices to every geopolitical zone of the country so that at the end of the day, the leadership will reflect the peculiarities of the Nigerian nation state, but not necessarily uh, intervening or imposing its views on the membership of the National Assembly as studio and uh, way and manner the leadership emerges. So I very much disagree with the fact that the APC is uh, following the old ways of doing bad things, of imposition and what have you. And I want to assure you that the, 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 the leadership of the APC is not micromanaging the process, but it's only zoning these offices to respective geopolitical zones to reflect the peculiarity of the Nigerian society. Well, I mean, uh, this point that you have, been, you have made has also been uh, queried by a number of commentators. One, that indeed the uh, APC leadership is not even respecting zoning. And people who make that point, they draw attention to the fact that the proposed uh, uh, Senate president for the Ninth Assembly is from the North, and the proposed speaker is from the, uh, is from the Southwest, even when you have a president from the uh, Southwest. Even Khan, as a Christian Association of Nigeria, has talked about balancing along religious lines. Now, Oshomole, the chairman of your party, has been specifically accused of conducting himself after the fashion of a dictator. Do you agree with that? And then why are you not in the race? I read an article saying that, ah, uh, Honorable Munguno is the best choice from the Northeast, but you, do, you don't seem to be interested. Why? Well, uh, you know, initially, 
Uh, let me ask the personal, uh, answer the personal question that uh, you have asked me as to why I'm not in dress anymore. Initially, I was in dress before the zoning of the offices by the leadership of the party. But when the zoning came out, the position of Senate president has been zoned to the Northeast. And I am from the Northeast. So I am being realistic. And also being a party, loyal party man, I have to jealously guard and protect the supremacy of the party. And being a loyal party man, I decided to withdraw my ambition to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives because the position of Senate President has already been zoned to the Northeast. So, and there is no way the, both the Speaker of, of the House of Representatives and the Senate President will come from the Northeast. And that is the reason why I decided to step down my ambition to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives, being a loyal party man. Then with regard to the issue of uh, right now the party has uh, zoned the president to the Senate president to the north and then the speaker to the southwest of which the vice president is also coming from the south uh, southwest. I think this is also done in tandem with uh, best parliamentary practice that is obtained all over the world. Now, the best parliamentary practice that is obtained all over the world is whenever the leadership of a party in the parliament, whether it is in the minority or it is in the majority, becomes the ruling party. The leadership of the members of that of parliament that has now assumed the role of a ruling party automatically metamorphoses to be the speaker or the head of parliament. That is the best democratic practice, and Nigeria should not be an exception to that. For example, in, in, the, in, in the U.S., where we coffee our own presidential system of government, Nancy Pelosi was the minority leader. So immediately, Democrats uh, assumed the uh, became majority in the House of Representatives, she automatically metamorphosed to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives in the U.S. So, mutatis mutandis, it should also apply to Nigeria. Uh, the Ahmed Lawan is, uh, is the Senate leader, and now the APC is in majority in the Senate. Then automatically, he metamorphoses to be the Senate president. While Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila is the House leader in the, in, the, in, the, in the House of Representatives, we are now the ruling party. We have the majority in the House of Representatives. So it presupposes that he should also automatically metamorphose to be the speaker in the, in the House of Representatives. So this is in tandem with uh, best uh, democratic practice that as it is obtained in other, other climes. And then it is also this issue of... Uh, uh, regionalism, religion, these are sentiments that are being whipped off by the Nigerian elites, particularly the Nigerian ruling class, to attain a uh, position. The, the concern of the ordinary man on the street is to put put on his table. That is the concern of the ordinary man, uh, ordinary Nigerian, not uh, where uh, Mr. A comes from or Mr. B. These are sentiments that are being whipped up by the Nigerian ruling elite with a view to attaining their own respective uh, ambitions. Well, Honorable Member, you said the zoning uh, formula by your party reflects the heterogeneous nature of the country. A lot of people will beg to differ. Uh, but let me ask you directly, do you think that the South-South, the South-East, or even the North Central, should be considered by the APC for this presiding offices. And uh, secondly, you might have dropped from the race, but there's a swelling number of those who are showing interest uh, in speakership. Does that not say something about um, how the party and uh, the members are not in tandem? Well, you know, I, I, I told you earlier on up initial that I'm a loyal fatty man. And being a loyal fatty man, I will always 
my ambition should always be subservient to the dictates of the of the party and it was purely as a result of that that i decided to step down my ambition and then if definitely in in a, in a, in, a, in a contestation for power is not a tea party it's not an invitation for a tea party there has to be disagreements in in, in what have you you don't get power on a flat up board and that is why you see all these uh, contestations and, and what have you that is happening but i assure you that uh, at the end of the day as as, as loyal party members uh, will all foot heads together and resolve whatever differences that uh, is the, that that are rearing their heads now but definitely contestation for her is not a tea party and we you should have this type of uh, uh, disagreements uh, in the process then we regard to the issue of uh, emergence of uh, uh, leadership uh, in the south south uh, uh, southeast and, and, and what have you definitely in the in the in the in the zoning formula they will be carried along they will be carried along uh, it's not only the issue of uh, right now the door it has not been formally out definitely the position of deputy senate president will go either to the south south or to, or to the south southeast and then the the position of our deputy speaker will definitely come to the uh, uh, north central south is oh south south defending on how what the party finally uh, comes out with so no zone of uh, nigeria will be alienated in the process or no zone will be uh, relegated to the background every zone will be uh, carried alone in tandem with the as i earlier said the heterogeneous nature of the nigerian society and fc being a fan nigerian party will give a sense of belonging to all the constituents uh, unit that constitute the Nigerian nation state. Honorable Mungunu, earlier on we had Senator Abaribi on this program, and he gave the impression that uh, the anointing of uh, Senator Lawan and Honorable Bajambi Amila is not really given, because it's the uh, lawmakers themselves who will determine what happens on the day of the election and that they may not really listen to any uh, dictates from outside uh, the uh, National Assembly. Do you see the possibility of what happened in 2015, repeating itself, uh, with the PDP and maybe other political parties getting a foot in the door and uh, moving away from this point you've been making about party supremacy and about loyalty? Do you see that possibility? Well, uh, you know, it's uh, definitely everybody has the right to, uh, to contest, as I earlier on said, because the constitution is very clear and unambiguous. Every member of the National Assembly, irrespective of party affiliation, has the right to contest. But, you know, the, the process of uh, attainment of uh, power is about... Uh, loving is about engagement and what have you and we have already uh, kick-started uh, the process of loving of uh, engagement uh, and understanding amongst amongst our, ourselves uh, and then I don't think if the party has uh, anointed a, a, a particular uh, candidate uh, to the exclusion of uh, other 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 candidates or oh, every 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 party member or uh, every member of the national assembly has the right to contest the door is not uh, shut uh, against him every member has the right to contest but there should be a process of uh, loving uh, the process of uh, engagement so that at the end of the day the leadership of the national assembly that will emerge will be a consensus uh, at idem of all the the the, the, uh, the membership of the of the national assembly and i think this time around my party apc is uh not only is not imposing any 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 candidate on 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 the membership of the uh, of the party in the national assembly but the as i earlier always uh, told you that is is only guiding the 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 the, the process 
It's only guiding the process, and in the process, members' views will be sought. There is going to be loving, there is going to be engagement, so that at, at the end of the day, the rancor that uh, we witnessed in, in 2015, of which I also contested as deputy speaker to Femi Bajabia Miller then, and then lost with only uh, eight, eight, eight boards, that ugly scenario will not repeat itself. Well, I like the point you made about consensus Adida. That is the meeting of minds among members themselves. Yes. But you once acted yes. as the mm. chairman of the committee on rules and business in the absence of the substantive chairman. What exactly do the rules say in the House of Representatives? Well, the, 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 the rules uh, is very clear. It's about <laughs> Just like the Constitution, because the Constitution, as I said, is the supreme law of the land, and any law that is, is, is inconsistent with the provision of the Constitution is null and void to the extent of its inconsistency. So our, 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 the rules of the House, which the House derives its powers from the Constitution to make the rules, is also very clear. Every member of the National Assembly has the right to contest for all the position of our presiding officers, but there has to, you have to be a ranking member. You have to be a ranking member for you to contest as a presiding officer. If you are not a ranking member, you cannot contest. And then I think the wisdom behind the draft of, of, of this law is that in any venture, you need experience. Experience matters a lot. And that is why the idea of being a ranking member before you contest for the position of a presiding officer, either in the Senate or in the House of Representatives, was instituted to give uh, uh, prominence and respect to experience, which comes with a lot of uh, wisdom. Well, clearly there's a sharp division. That is the provision of our rules. OK. Uh, clearly, there's a sharp division within the party and the lawmakers uh, from all of this. But do you think that this anointed candidate of uh, Senator Lawan and Honorable Femi Bajabiamila uh, is capable of uniting the party and the lawmakers? Or do you think that the leadership style of Adams Shomale and the rhetoric from the national leader Bola Tinubu saying that if you do not want what we want, then you can leave the party? Uh, will be added to. What do you think will play out at the end of the day? Well, I think uh, I don't subscribe to the idea of uh, the fact that the national chairman has been dictatorial in the way and manner he 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 runs the affairs of the of the party. I don't subscribe to that idea. Even Femi. Bajabia Miller and Ahmed Lawan are products of a lot of uh, consultations and engagement amongst both the senators elect and then returning senators and members elect and members uh, uh, returning members of the House of Representatives. They are not just brought out of the blues and then uh, sought to be imposed on the, on the membership of the National Assembly. And as I told you earlier on, there is precedence that is being laid in other claims of which we, we, we coffee our own system, that if a party becomes majority in, 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 in parliament, then the leadership of that party, which is in majority in parliament, automatically metamorphoses to be a presiding officer of that parliament. And I gave you an example of what happened in, in the U.S. House of Representatives, where Nancy Pelosi, who was the minority leader, immediately the Democrats became majority. She metamorphosed in, to be the speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. I think this is also one of the reasons why, why the, 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 the leadership of, of the party decided to forward the names of uh, on, uh, Senator Amit Lawan and Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, and also 
their experience. Uh, Honorable Pemi Bajabia Miller is a PIP term member of the House of Representatives, just like my humble self. And then Honorable Senator Amelan was in the National Assembly since 1999 to date from the House of Representatives, then he moved to the Senate. So in this, in this business, experience counts. The, the democratic uh, best practice that is obtained in other, other clients also, also counts. And then uh, with regard to the pronouncement of uh, the national leader of the party, Aswaju uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, well, I, 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 I don't think the way and manner the media quoted or reported what he has said is exactly what he said. I don't want to believe that. Okay. But I think what is, in a nutshell, what he's trying to say is that the supremacy of the party should be jealously guarded and protected. So that, uh, because once the, the, the party is not respected, then it's, a, the, it's an invitation to chaos and anarchy. That is why in Nigeria, we only consider parties as vehicle for acquisition of uh, 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 res uh, office and what have you. So at, at the end of the day, we discard the parties. So it is high time we institu institutionalize the culture of supremacy of the party so that uh, the party will be respected. Everybody should know that it is through the instrumentality of the party that you attain this position and therefore you must always be subservient to the dictates of the party, so long Indeed. as it is and in the national interest. And we wish you and your party the best uh, going forward. Many thanks, Honorable Member of the House of Representatives, Mohammed uh, Mongunu, for joining us on the morning show today.